Hey, I'm Eric from Stinger Electronics, back with another awesome upgrade for Jeep Wranglers. This Jeep's been heavily modified, like a lot of Jeeps out there. Suspension, engine, lots of performance work. We've even replaced the front and rear speakers and added amplifiers. So now we're pretty happy with the way the vocals and high end sound in our Jeep, but we're missing that low end punch that you can only get from adding a subwoofer to your Jeep. But we don't want a box that's gonna bounce around while we're off road in our rig. So today we're gonna be installing the loaded subwoofer enclosure from Stinger Electronics. It has a Phoenix Gold 12 inch sub right in the box, which handles 400 watts RMS, 800 watts peak. So it's gonna give you a lot of bass and it's in a sealed enclosure. So it's gonna be nice tight bass response. So it's great for any kind of music. So come with me as I show you how easy it is to upgrade your Jeep Wrangler JL by adding the Stinger Electronics loaded subwoofer enclosure to your tailgate. Before we get started on this install, let's take a look at the tools we're gonna to use. Four and five millimeter Allen wrench, included 13 millimeter drill bit, power drill, safety glasses, 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, Phillips screwdriver, zip ties, flush cuts, and pry tool. We're gonna begin the installation by removing this plastic trim panel on the inside of the tailgate. If your Jeep's equipped with a trail rail, remove the three Torx bolts that secure the trail rail into place. Then using a pry tool, remove the trim panel. Now that we have this panel removed, we can take it over to our workbench where we're gonna drill four holes. Now we have our plastic panel on our working surface. We're ready to take the included 13 millimeter drill bit and drill four holes in this panel. The top two are gonna go right down through these top holes where our trail rails mount, and the bottom two are gonna go down here in the bottom end of the plastic. You're watching our YouTube video, so you probably haven't looked at the install manual. Now's a really good time to do that. Take out the install manual and take a look at it. There's a picture of the back of this panel. It shows the two top holes and the dimples where the two bottom holes are gonna go. Make sure you drill these in the proper location because they are gonna go through the plastic. You should have two holes at the top and two holes at the bottom. Here's where we're gonna install our mounting hardware. Before we reattach this trim panel to the tailgate, we're gonna run the subwoofer speaker wire through one of the vents and then we'll reattach the panel. We're gonna go the fourth hole down. We have at least about a foot or so of speaker wire and we're gonna run that through the vent. You can always trim this shorter if you need to. Now that we have our trim panel back in place, we're gonna add a few zip ties to the wires we added to keep them close to the factory loom. That's gonna keep everything from getting pinched when we open and close the tailgate. Now we're ready to start working on the subwoofer enclosure. Begin by removing the screws that are securing the subwoofer into the enclosure. Then you can remove the subwoofer and set it aside. With the subwoofer out, take out any contents that are inside the box. This is the polyfill, the template for the Jeep Wrangler JK, and any other components that are gonna be used for installation. Take those out and set those aside. Now we're ready to remove some hardware from the subwoofer enclosure. Tilt the box up, remove the two top silver screws. You can see we've already removed them. Be sure to leave the four black screws in the bottom of the enclosure. Underneath the enclosure, there's two more bolts that we need to remove, here and here. Now we're gonna install the two 30 millimeter spacers in the top of our trim panel. They'll stick out just a little bit when they're fully installed. Now take the 45 millimeter spacer, the right angle bracket, and your long bolts. We're gonna put the bolt through the tapered end of the bracket so it sits flush, and that goes through the spacer, and that goes through the bottom holes. We'll grab our drill and tighten that up. Same thing on the other side. Now take the supplied foam pads and apply those to the L brackets. Peel off the adhesive backing, stick it right on. Repeat the process on the other side. We're just about ready to attach our subwoofer enclosure to the tailgate of our Jeep. Before we do that, we're gonna make some mounting hardware. So we're gonna assemble this bolt with a locking washer, a metal washer, and a rubber washer. So taking the long bolt, put on a locking washer, a metal washer, and a rubber washer. And assemble two of these. Now we're ready to attach the subwoofer enclosure to the tailgate of the Jeep. This part of the installation is a little easier if you have a friend. So my friend here came a little closer to the Jeep to help me out. So now we're gonna take the subwoofer enclosure, get nice and cozy with our Wrangler, and we're gonna take the positive lead, you're gonna push down the red terminal and insert the positive lead into the red terminal. 
It's a spring-loaded terminal, so once you release the clip, it automatically engages the wire. Do the same thing with your negative lead on the black terminal. Push, insert the wire, and release. Now we're gonna route the speaker wire up through the channel, and we're gonna loosely set the subwoofer enclosure down onto the rails that we installed earlier. That's gonna hold it in place while we loosely install the two top mounting bolts. We're gonna take the two bolts that we assembled earlier, and we're gonna install those in the upper locations loosely. Once we install the lower bolts, we'll tighten everything up. Now we're ready to take the polyfill that we removed from the subwoofer enclosure earlier, and we're gonna put it back inside and spread it out so it covers the inside of the box. That's gonna slow down standing waves and give us better bass response out of our subwoofer. Make sure you leave your speaker wires hanging out because we need to connect those to the subwoofer. Here we have our Phoenix Gold 12 inch sub. It's a dual voice coil sub, so we need to make sure that our speaker wires connect both positive leads and both negative leads. So take your red wire, just like on the subwoofer enclosure, spring-loaded terminal, smash it down and connect it. Same for your negative lead. Now we can screw in our subwoofer and we're ready to rock. Well, that's all it takes. Now we've upgraded our Jeep Wrangler JL and it has a 12 inch Phoenix Gold subwoofer in a loaded enclosure box from Stinger Electronics, right on the tailgate. That was an easy upgrade and we're really gonna enjoy it on road or off road. Whether the top's off or we're playing in the mud, this box is protected against UV and moisture. We hope you've enjoyed this install video. Thanks for watching. For more product information, visit our website or check us out on YouTube.